Good morning, welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll show you how I made this wood stove, rocket stove, heat riser hybrid. Completely new and I would never expect it to really work because I could not find any information online that would suggest that this would work. It works amazingly and it's around three times better, more efficient, much more heat. And I'm not sure if it burns cleanly like a rocket stove, but it definitely is an improvement for a wood stove. If you have an insulated pipes on the outside, it's gonna work excellent without any problems at all. So let's see how I made it. So that's how far I've gotten. I've cut out two, two holes, one for the, the heat to go in and the other one is the exit pipe. So yeah, that's pretty much it, it's simple. And then we also have the pipe, which I cut to the right size, that goes in through here, stays out a little bit and it does not hit the very bottom of the barrel, just like 10, 7, seven 8 centimeters below, uh, before it hits the top, it goes in. And then the smoke will circulate back to the bottom and come out. This is the bottom of the pipe. It's the other way around. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we also have this one for cleaning, I guess. Little, you can stick the vacuum cleaner in to vacuum out the ash. The pipes are all welded on. We have brought it here to the guest bedroom because here is a bit warmer, around 10 degrees. It needs to dry for 48 hours. This kind of, uh, it's not cold welding, this is more paste that's heat proof up to 1200 degrees Celsius. So this will be perfect and it seals all the holes because I cannot weld it fully around. I spot weld it all around and the tape covers the rest. So it should be okay, even uh, with holes, even if we miss something the draft will pull it more outside instead of smoke leaking through here. So, so this should be perfect. See in 48 hours. See in 48 hours. We might even bite paint. So we'll see. Might look beautiful.
it's all set up. It took forever to get it up and get it all in. It's not easy whenever it's like 50 kilos or more maybe for them 50 kilos. Yeah, definitely. Um, pushing it down precisionly on a pipe and if you don't get it in one angle, it just bends the whole pipe because the pipes are, the, the bottom pipe is strong and the top pipe we're putting it in is kind of really soft metal. So it was bending it. So yeah, but now it's all in. It's a bit wiggle waggle, but that's how these barrels were made. These are barrels like maybe 70, 80 years old. These are really old barrels. So they're not <laughs> modernly built on machines where they're precise, precise but hopefully that works. Uh, I know that it needs to be perfectly straight at the top for it to burn correctly, but it should be perfectly fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just burn some paper and see if it kicks back the smoke or if it actually pulls it through. If it kicks back the smoke, then it doesn't work. <laughs> That's it. All the work to waste. I open the dumper, so don't forget. It's fully open. It's open? Top. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, but, but be ready to open windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're used to smokes. We're smoking ourselves. Smoke chickens. Just leave it a bit open. <laughs> much colder. Okay, it didn't catch fire. But smoke is not kicking back, so. Well, that's not a lot of smoke yet, but. We also need to check if any hole is leaking in the room back around the pyro. But then it's easier to pass it this way. No, it has a really good suction. Like, once you suck the flame up. So basically how it's connected is that here goes the fire directly from the chimney. It goes all the way to the top, maybe like 10 centimeters or 7 centimeters or something before the top. And then the smoke falls back down with the pressure and it goes out through this pipe at the bottom. It kind of looks like it pretty much just goes like that and you know we just collect the heat. But no, the pipe goes all the way to the top and the smoke is pushed down and goes back down and out through that pipe. We have been using it for four days. This is the fourth time we have lit it up and every time it works perfect. I had a lot of troubles with this stove where I couldn't get it to start or run properly because the draft was too much. It was just pulling the flame pretty much out of the wood and making it just smoke non-stop. And now it burns so like without any problems. I can open it up and have no smoke coming back, like no resistance. <laughs> And the most exciting thing, or not exciting, but like unseen thing for me, was the wood stove. The next morning still has burning hot coals in the wood stove. That's how efficient it is the barrel from letting cold air come or the drop to be too much. Once I close the air intake and close up the damper, it's pretty much so slowly burning the coal whenever it's burnt out. It's just the coal is like red hot. It's so slowly eating that coal up that it's still in the morning all hot inside. Of course, the outside cools down a lot, the fan stops spinning, but the inside still has a hot coal. Normally, when we had it just connected to the outside chimney, it would be maybe in an hour all cooled down, fully freezing cold the whole chimney. Now it stays and keeps its temperature. One of the biggest problems for us was whenever it was connected just to the outside chimney, was also not just the cooling down of the chimney, but it was blowing cold air all around the door. The damper is not enough to seal it, so it would be really a lot of cold blowing. It would just be cooling the room down. Um, so this was also a big problem. Now it's fully solved. We have zero. You can put your hand up into the pipe and feel no wind coming. This is because it's like the J turn on your sink where it holds the water in the bottom so smells and cold doesn't come through. This works same way but with hot air. Hot air is the top of the barrel and the cold air just cannot get through. This is how some people have explained it from rocket stoves and it's the same principle. Um, the barrel gets quite hot, not as hot as the chimney itself but it gets quite hot for just using the smoke and outside chimney is still pretty warm. It's not like it cools the fumes fully down and leaves it all in the room and just goes cold and creates condensation. It's actually really effective and the biggest thing was how do we connect it because the pipe is quite fragile but it turns out actually my welds were really strong 
and we ac actually like put full pressure under the pipe multiple times and bent it and everything and it did not break any of my welds so that's lucky because that would be so annoying to go and weld it again those two bricks theoretically they don't need to be there but we still put them as we're scared that it's too much pressure for the one pipe to hold it so we fully put it onto two bricks which it, it really doesn't bother us with the look the bricks get quite hot as well and give out heat so it's no problem and I rather have the safety that it doesn't break while it's burning hot and blows all the smoke then maybe it can fall down or something it would just only fall down deeper and kind of stop the fire because it would just close it up so in theory yeah nothing could go wrong but still I'd rather be sure than sorry and the outside pipe it just goes out straight away at the bottom of the barrel works perfect no smoke comes through anywhere no leaks nothing it's just it's blind mode blind, blind. <laughs> the temperature is extremely hot my face is burning I cannot sit close to it we have around 22 degrees now in this room like more in the middle of the room here I think it's a lot more than 25 like degrees there on the table this feels like hot Greek day maybe the hot Greek sun blowing my face no it's actually more I don't feel this hot at Greece uh, Greek weather but this is really hot when you open the door it's really hard to change the put more wood in because it's just so burning hot and we had this chimney for many days and we burned it a lot before we added this barrel it would never get to the temperatures that it gets now the chimney gets way hotter with way less wood uh, or the same amount of wood but way more hot and we maybe consume one pack of briquettes these are the compacted brick wood chips uh, bricked wood chips and uh, they burn much slower because they're so compact they slowly spread out and slowly burn in and um, but we use like one pack which is 10 kilos which is around one euro one euro 20 depending on the season if you buy them in summer or you buy them now in the winter and this is pretty cheap one euro in electricity you know just our room we were paying maybe like 100 a month so this would be like 30 euros instead of 100 euros so it's a big difference and the heat is insane it's 20 to 20 degrees, 18 degrees in our room, live uh, on our bedroom, which is quite far away. And in our hallway, which we have separated with a curtain, it's around 10 to 12 degrees. It is pretty cold outside, it's like close to zero. Uh, so it's expected that a lot of cold comes in from the outside door, which we still haven't sealed or insulated. So that's the most biggest reason of cooling down the house. But it's really effective. I'm blubbering a lot because I'm really excited over this. It worked really good. It is not the easiest. You need to understand how to make it, kind of. But uh, yeah, I think most people could probably achieve it and make their chimneys much more e efficient and not really, I wouldn't say safer, but more, much more efficient and more economical, more heat giving to you, not the outside. Kind of like Safe, that. Safe, we don't know. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> let you yeah, have we'll this. It needs to burn a lot more times to see what happens with the pipe. The pipe also might burn out, might, might something go wrong, but if the pipe burns out, it's just going to go straight out and it's going to be like a normal chimney. It's not like if it burns out, it's bro broken fully. And we, uh, of course, once the season is over, we're going to keep an eye on it, yeah, clean it off. and We might take it off and fully see and check it out. It's not the easiest to get on or off, but uh, if we have to, we will. And we also have that old barrel opening there, which we can unscrew when it's cold and stick a vacuum pipe inside and uh, vacuum out all the dust and uh, not the dust, the, <laughs> the ash that goes up because a lot of ash goes up with the flame and the pressure so we can vacuum all of that out and uh, probably even maybe stick, stick it into the pipe and vacuum the bit the pipe out so we don't need to fully open it and clean it just for now but overall before next season we might open it or we might even have a new solution but we'll see I, I like it for now, it's really effective and yeah but that's pretty much it. That's all we have to say. Extremely good and working chimney we have now. From this small chimney, we pretty much doubled or tripled the power of it. And again, thank you to our neighbors, because without them... Yeah, we only barrel we had was a modern barrel. And this is super thin sheet metal, which would burn out really easily and would not give out as much heat. These are the old uh, barrels from the Soviet time. They're extremely thick and heavy. <laughs> heavy oh metal, yeah, they are beauty. heavy. And when they warm up, they're just like a giant radiator. They keep the heat for quite a while. So it's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We hope you enjoy and we're going to see you in our next one. Bye-bye. So hot. Oh my god, it's hot over here.